Hey, it's Sigboy from the Gaming Anders Collective, and I've just got off from doing an angry video with regards to Microsoft's Xbox 720 being apparently confirmed by Edge Magazine, having blocked used sales and uh, games. So I'm not going to comment on that in that video in case you're wondering why I'm not mentioning it. I just want to do a few news updates. One that is absolutely hilarious. Now, from watching my videos, you'll know not too pleased with Dead Space 3 and their microtransactions. Turns out somebody spotted that there's already a big glitch in the system where you can actually spawn essentially unlimited items by getting it, apparently going out of the room, going back in again. There, there are ways that you can scam the microtransaction system. I'll put the link in the info bar for that. That's absolutely hilarious. I'm absolutely loving that, that there's already a backdoor to circumvent their bullshit system. What will be interesting will be see how quick EA patches this. Because you'll see all these all the errors that EA put in their games, how lo long it takes them to patch, how much they kick up a stink about how much it costs. Look at the FIFA games. They carried over the weird kind of like tumbling of the characters together and kissing and stuff. Uh, and they didn't they didn't patch it because people were like, this is stupid. And they just left it. We'll see what happens. Now it's going to cost them microtransactions. I hope this information goes viral. I hope that everybody who's bought that game uses this glitch and before they've patched it and rinse it for everything it's worth and then fuck their microtransactions. I think it's hilarious. Incidentally, of course, they, they did have 11 day one DLC packages plus they've already announced their first major update. EA are EA and EA are thieving dicks. But the other bit of news, and uh, from my perspective it's a bit of good news because I did go out there and, uh, and push it as a, as a solid game. Um, Nino Kuni Wrath of the Witch is selling out absolutely everywhere, which is lovely to see. Uh, I don't know whether Namco Bandai released only it sent only a limited release in the UK and the US, but it's sold out absolutely everywhere. And as is, and I've got a bit of good news, the Wizards Edition. I was a bit fortunate, and I managed to pick one up. Now, these are like gold dust, so I thought I'd do... I don't really... not that really interested in doing unboxing videos, but I thought I'd do one, just for the sake of it, because this game is awesome, and people I know have lost their pre-orders for it, and they're not going to have a chance to, to see any of it, so I was lucky enough, GameStop in the UK, all of a sudden seemed to find a couple of dozen. And I followed Namco Bandai on Twitter, and they retweeted the comment saying, "Oh look, we've got, we've actually got some Wizard editions, and we're selling them at retail price, just in the UK, seventy nine ninety nine. Because you go on eBay, you're looking for it on eBay, they're charging standard one hundred and fifty, two hundred and fifty pounds. I said in a previous video, if you're in the US, our price is that's fifty percent on top of yours. That's how you work out dollars. Take our price, and then add half of it on top." That's how much it is in dollars. But anyway, so, just a nice little sleeve there. General bits going in there. Then we've got a little box for the lid. Oh, it's very nice. And in here, the thing I really wanted, which I want to have for my, uh, for my desk, I'm going to open it up now, is a little drippy plush. How fucking cool is that? I, want, I am, I am going to wait till I'm really sad, and I'm wondering if I cry on him. If he'll turn into a little fairy and be like, Oh, come on now, stop. What's wrong with you? You keep crying. Come over here, come to my little exciting village. Oh, now you want to save my world, see? Come on now, tidy. That'd be pretty That'd be pretty ideal. And obviously, wrap copy of the game. This does mean I now have an additional copy of the game. Uh, the truly, this is a do not sell separately, but screw it. I'm going to sell a copy since I've, ne I've already got one. And one thing that's really nice... Um, oh, yeah. Big chunky instruction manual. I'm pretty sure that's the same instruction manual that comes in the standard one, so that's really not any interesting. However, this, this is lovely, and this isn't available, it seems, in any shops. Um, what you have is you've actually got inside here, which I think is lovely, you've got your Wizard's Pledge. If you played Nino Kuni, this is meant to be. I haven't gone through the actual, I haven't opened this up yet before, and I haven't gone through the book in detail. Uh, in the game, but it does seem that this is pretty much. Um, I mean, if you recall, and I'll show you if you've got the game, let's see, it should be here. If you've got the game, then you'll know. You'll see these pages. These pages are the pages that appear in game. So it seems to me that this book is actually the Wizard's Companion from the game. So I think that's a lovely touch. I think it's a real pisser that they had the issue with the orders and that people haven't been able to get hold of a copy. Um, 
if you can find it anywhere, I recommend getting hold of it, but don't pay any more than the RRP for it, because Jesus Christ, that is absolutely outrageous. But yeah, happy news, I've got my little drippy, I'm going to find a Prada place somewhere, I think he's awesome. I didn't fancy, I didn't fancy paying £250 for him, so I'm very glad I found it standard price, and I can sell the game, because even on Amazon the game sold out. So, I could sell it, sell this new game for a retail price, and at least get some of the money back. Which is nice, I'll put that back in this little bag. Yeah, just thought I'd do that. Which is, uh, I'm thoroughly enjoying that game. Wrath of the White Witch. I said it before. I highly recommend getting hold of it. It's one of the best RPGs I've played in absolutely years. It's absolutely terrific and just puts a massive great smile on my face. Anyway, guys, that's really all I've got. Actually, no, I haven't. I do have something else I was going to mention. I was mentioning about conversion prices earlier. Now, the Ouya has been announced that there is a launch date. It's a couple of months later than it originally said it was going to be. But the Ouya is up for... They have identified where you can buy it from. You can buy it from the Ouya website. You can buy it from Amazon. I'm very tempted. I may well hold off for the 3D model because I don't think it's going to be much more expensive. And I do have a 3D TV, so I, I would rather play it on a big 3D TV. Um, I think that would be a better experience to, to try that out. But... Well, we'll see. But my real gripe about this is that Ouya has been a, a massive uh, indie success, essentially, and I really hope it does well. I hope it turns out to be a new, exciting platform, and I hope it, it has some brilliant games. Um, the price point. In the US, it's $99 standard price point. Now, in some states, of course, you've got your sales tax on top of that. But in the UK, they've just taken the dollar sign and made it £99. And as I've said, it's $1.5 to the pound. So for us, we're paying $150 for the Ouya, which I think is bullshit. The only difference, essentially, if you didn't, if you didn't know, really, between the UK and the US, is you need a different output for your trans, you need a different input for your transformer, because we work on 220 volts. So you need a different transformer. So you need a different power pack, or a tra different transformer. That's all you need. It is not an extra 50% on top of the product's price. That's bullshit. It happens with digital games as well, and it's an absolute travesty. You guys really need to start, the companies really need to start pitching your prices correctly, not just converting dollars to whatever it is, especially the, in Australia. The, in Australia, they get shafted for prices. It's really terrible. It's actually cheaper for them to buy stuff from the UK and have it shipped halfway across the world. That's mental. Anyway, guys, um, I'm actually half tempted now to go and buy... Dead space, just so I can spam the shit out of that glitch before they uh, before they find a way to patch it, because that would be quite funny. Anyway, catch you guys later.